Hi guys, I'm Eunice from Big Big Studio and Onsmo. So today I'm going to be unboxing the new Onsmo Curve Reflector. Uh, in short, it's called C-Flex. So what's good about this reflector is uh, it's basically used for portraits. It's actually really easy to assemble and it creates quite dramatic effects. Uh, so one main thing about this reflector is that it gives really pronounced highlights to the eyes uh, called the horseshoe shape. Uh, catch light in the eyes. So this effect is quite hard to obtain if you use just an umbrella or a softbox but this reflector is able to let you obtain such effect. Let's get into the unboxing and I'll show you more about what this product contains. Okay, it comes in a nice solid carrying bag as you can see and the contents are almost like this. Okay, so now we, I'm going to be taking out the contents. Now I have laid out what was previously in the bag so as you can see, there are not many parts to the C-Flex. So it's actually quite easy to assemble, but we'll get into that part later. So I'll now briefly explain about what each part does before we get into the assembling part. Okay, so you can see here there are six uh, rods which make up the main structure of the C-Flex. This is the main bracket. So the main bracket allows you to tilt the C-Flex up and down for better highlights. <laughs> And these two are the stabilizers, which gives tension to the C-Flex. We'll show you later. <laughs> and then lastly, these two are the reflector materials. This is white and gold. This is black and silver. Okay, so let's get into the assembling part now. Okay, so now I'm going to be assembling the main frame of the C-Flex. Okay, as I mentioned just now, there are six rods, but actually there are two rods which you can see there are silver pins here. These two are the center rods. So what you have to do is, you take the center rod and you take another rod without the, center, without the silver piece. And you see the holes here. It's actually very simple. So you press down on the silver clips. So after assembling one side, you can move on to the next side of the center piece. So just repeat the same procedure as I did just now. And you get this curve shape, which complies to why we call it the C-Flex, the curve reflector. Yeah, so once you're done with one side, you can now assemble the other side of the main piece. So now we have completed assembling both of the main rods. And now we'll move into assembling the reflective material. So as I mentioned just now, we have two reflective materials from the C-Flex. One is the black and silver, one is the white and gold. But the main reflective fabric is the black and silver one. So before using the white and gold, you first have to assemble the black and silver first. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble this onto the rods. So when you open it up, you can see that this is the black side, this is the silver side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the rods into these holes here. Okay, so we'll start off with one side. Okay. So now I'm going to take one of the rod and place it into the hole here. See, I'm done with one side but you have to move on to the other side and repeat the whole process again. So now we are done with putting in the two main frames into the reflective fabric. Okay, so now we're going to move on to installing the retention bars. So as you can see, there are two retention bars which go on each side and each retention bar comes with two thumb screws. So what you have to do first is you have to unlock these screws. So you will find a side pocket on the reflective material. So what you have to do is you have to put the retention bar through the side pocket. Once it's through the side pocket, you have to insert it into the hole on the main frame. Okay, so once you're done with one side, you can loosely screw this side. Just loosely screw because you have to give it some space to insert the other side later. So 
So now you have to move on to the other side. Just repeat this whole procedure again. You can see I've finished assembling the two tension bars, but there's still like a bit of foldings in the middle. So it's not very tightly assembled yet, but this is where the main bracket comes into place where we will assemble it in the middle to stretch the middle part so that you get a smooth surface. So let's move on to assembling the main bracket. Okay, so before assembling that whole frame onto this main bracket, firstly, uh, you should assemble the main bracket onto a stand. So if you have your own stand, of course it's fine. But if you do not have a stand, you could purchase the whole C-Flex reflector kit together with the Onsmo BB220 stand. I'm going to place the main bracket onto the stand. So you just place it like that. And then screw tight. And now once your main bracket is in place, you can move on to assembling up the reflector. So now you've assembled the main bracket, so you have to unscrew these two bolts first. Now it's time to assemble the reflector. So as you can see, there are two holes in the middle. So you just place these two holes into the screws. C flex reflector assembly and you can see now that there's no more foldings on the middle part of the reflective material and yeah so you can loosen the screws underneath to tilt it up and down or you can give it some angle if you want any special highlights for your shooting or so you can see that this screw down here okay it's for the angle tilting so yeah so once I loosen it a bit I can give it some angle and then according to which angle you want, just tilt it towards your preference and tighten the screw. And yeah, you can move it left and right also according to your preference. So I have here with me today my main light, uh, the Onsmo Lumilight 150 uh, coupled with the Porta X105 also from Onsmo. So usually, this is how the main light is placed when it's used together with a reflector. Usually the main light is in front of the subject you're shooting and it's tilted down towards the subject and the reflector is placed in front of the subject. So now I'm going to show you uh, how, is, how actually is the effect of this reflector. So as you can see, this is my face with the reflector on me. So I'm going to tilt it so that I'm away from the reflector. And as I tilt the reflector back towards me, uh, you would observe that most of my shadows are slowly filled in. And if you look closely to the highlights of my eye, maybe you could see, maybe you could capture a horseshoe shape. But I'm going to show you again. So this is me without the reflector. And this is me with the reflector. A C-Flex kit also comes with a white and gold reflective material. So the one I'm showing you now is the black and silver, but I'm also going to show you the effect of white and gold. So usually silver reflective material will give a more harsh effect. So if you're looking for a less harsh effect, maybe you could opt for the white one. Or if you want a more gold sunshiny effect, you know, you can turn over to the gold side. But uh, how do you attach this? It's actually really simple. Uh, we already have velcro on here and here. So all you have to do is just stick it on. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to use the white side to give you an example. So it's actually really simple once you've actually assembled the whole framework. So you just stick it onto the sides. Stick it along the velcro. Okay, so as you can see now, I have successfully attached the white reflective material. So now I'm going to show you like a compare and contrast result of the white and the silver reflective material. So this is the white reflective material towards me and as I tilt it, and I tilt it back to me again. 
So as you can see, maybe the effect is not as harsh and sharp as the silver reflective material. So lastly is the gold side of the reflective material. So I'm going to show you again the compare and contrast effect. So this is the reflector towards me and this is the reflector away from me. And it's back to me again. Take notice of the size of your stand. Uh, because if your stand is too high, the lowest point of your stand is too high, it might be it might make the reflector higher than your subject and then you can't get a perfect shoot. Hope you guys learned something from this C Flex demo today. Uh, really hope that you you guys will love this new product from Onsmo. So I'm Eunice and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye. <laughs>